All right, well, now we're here. <laughs> we're here in Bunker Studio right now, and um, recording what will prove to be probably one of the best albums of all time. Definitely our, our best one is, you know, at this point, Persona 5. So we're gonna give you all a sneak peek. Why don't y'all come inside the studio and check out what's going on. Never see it coming. Hey everybody, I'm Patrick Bartley, leader of the J Music Ensemble, and I'm here to tell you about our very special second studio album. For those of you who are new to us, the J Music Ensemble is a band that is dedicated to bringing the worlds of jazz and J-pop together. That means we play jazz versions of J-pop, anime, and video game music. And for this project, we're taking a look at the beloved and already legendary soundtrack of Persona 5. Persona 5 is a Japanese role-playing game that was originally released on September 2016 in Japan and April 2017 worldwide. The game follows the life of a young protagonist and his friends as they live normal lives in Tokyo as high school students during the day and fight evildoers in an alternate reality known as the Metaverse after school. The way they enter this Metaverse, where people's twisted and distorted thoughts take the form of real enemies called Shadows, is through an app on their phone called the MetaNav which, once they click it, changes the entire world around them and can transform something like a normal high school into a perverted teacher's castle. Now, if any or all of this sounds a little confusing for those of you who aren't familiar with games like this, that's okay, because if there's one element of this game that undeniably stands out above it all, it's the music. And you don't need any knowledge of alternate universes to appreciate that. The Persona 5 soundtrack is widely considered to be one of the greatest video game soundtracks of all time, and having only been out for just barely four years, I'd say that's a pretty big accomplishment. Being the brainchild of guitarist and composer Shoji Meguro, the music of Persona 5 is one big genre hot pot, with influences from funk, soul, rock, R&B, and of course, jazz. People praise the soundtrack for simultaneously creating and accenting the extremely stylish visuals and atmosphere of the game. Not only did this impact millions of players around the world, it also impacted our friend and arranger in the Jamie's Ensemble, Chris Williams, who was the first to alert me that a new Persona game was coming out on PS4. Having played Persona 3 back in college, I was super excited for a new Persona game to come out, but I didn't get my hands on it until November 2017. And when I did get my hands on it, I finally understood what all the hype was about. It was at that moment that I knew exactly what our next direction would be. After playing through a good chunk of the game, I started looking up the music of Persona 5 on YouTube. And in the process, I came across a bunch of really cool covers. And I went, wow, people really do care about this music. But one of the things that stood out to me was the lack of jazz covers. This music has so many dynamic elements, and the melodies and harmonies seem to lend really well to being opened up and improvised on. So Chris and I started arranging a few songs from the game to bring to the band and just jam over them. So we brought the band together and brought two of my Zoom cameras and a Zoom H4 recorder just to document what we were doing. But we had no idea what the response would be from our fans who at the time had been used to us primarily doing perfume covers. To our surprise, however, these covers would end up opening a whole new world for us. So at first, we put up a song called Tokyo Daylight, and within the first few days, we started getting comments praising our approach to it. So I'm thinking, Okay, our fans don't totally hate us for going away from J-pop now, so this must be a good idea. Shortly after, we upload Beneath the Mask, What's Going On, and something interesting started to happen. We actually started gaining a lot of new fans that had never been to our channel before, and they were sticking around for the Persona 5. And so after the success of the first session, we started planning out the second session. And I realized that this would be a great way to start introducing some varied and consistent content for our old fans and our new fans alike. Of course, the second session led to the third, which led to the fourth, and with each session, we learned from the previous one to step up our performance and production. So with each session, we're bringing in about three or four songs, which we would run through a few times, and then I would put up the tape that sounded the best. But it was after the fourth session that we started to realize we have like 
16 songs added to the book, just like that. We went from struggling to find the material to having a whole album's worth of it. And it was that realization right there that led us to start thinking about what our next studio project would be. But it wasn't just that aha moment that led us to this. Because renting out professional studio time every month just to pump out four videos can drain the wallet pretty fast. We ended up just getting a rehearsal space and taking my amateur equipment with us just so we can get this music out whatever way possible. This of course meant that the most important element, the audio quality, was never really up to any kind of professional standard. And while we love our fans and we appreciated that they understood, we knew that at some point we had to show the community the true realization of what we were trying to go for with our music. And it was then that the seeds for our second studio album, Persona 5 Metagroove, were planted. To me, the most beautiful thing about jazz is the ability for people with totally unique personalities to come together and express them freely within a group. Some of the most powerful music can be born that way. And when you combine that with the music of Persona 5, a game based around this entire concept, it's not hard to see how jazz and Persona 5 will be perfect for each other. What's even better than Total Strangers getting together is getting to play this music with some of my best friends, who also happen to be some of the greatest musicians in the world. You think you got your game planned out to a T, get them two steps ahead, yeah. My experience playing with the ensemble has been really enlightening and exciting. Um, it's definitely like doing this kind of music is new to me. Um, so it's a lot of fun. All the guys are a lot of fun. And Ruby's a lot of fun. So um, yeah, it's just really exciting. Playing with the J Music Ensemble has been really a uh, supportive uh, environment and you know seeing YouTube comments and you know, everything made us really excited. So we're definitely looking forward to the album since we know and everybody knows that we're putting a lot of you know, time and effort to it. So I'm excited as you are. I'm, I'm absolutely stoked about this album. I mean, it's, it's you know, as, as bad as everyone's saying, it's, it's such a long time coming and I think for me to have, you know, sort of heard the music and also played a lot of the music in some of the, some of the, um, the live sessions that we've done and also on different gigs and stuff like that, um, you know, it's, it's great music, so that's always been there, but the fact that we get to, like, put this down, you know, on, on record and, and really, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's amazing to do that with this music and, you know, also to really, you know, the studio, you get to hear all these other different parts that you, maybe you, you haven't heard before or, you know, got caught up, you know, when you play things live and everything. So to really, like, again, dig deep into, into what we're doing here has been really special. Yeah, so far my experience with the J Music Ensemble has been really, really awesome. I've actually learned a lot. It's almost been an educational experience for me just because Everybody in the band is so passionate about uh, anime music, J music, video game music, and it's stuff that I, uh, you know, it's, I'm very happy to add to my repertoire. I just recorded uh, Life Goes On, and uh, it seemed to have gone really well. So I'm excited just to hear how the entire arc of the thing comes together. It's a very kind of, um, I mean, this whole whole process I think is like a very intense. You, you don't really know what it's going to be until it actually comes out. Yeah, I would say it's been pretty, pretty awesome, in fact. I mean, like, something like this especially. I've always been a huge fan of video game music, like, from even having the band of Fighting in the Streets that Sean is also a part of, you know, which also even, I mean, even influenced my band Spin Kick as well. And Patrick, I just feel, is like somebody who would just like-minded people, like, from, from the playing energy to the video game energy. So, yeah, the experience has been awesome. <laughs> Definitely very excited about the album. What I'm really looking forward to is being able to hear kind of the finished product that everyone's playing on it because it's been such a great energy in the studio the last yeah, couple days boy. that I feel like I'm missing the big picture, you know, <laughs> like hearing what everyone's doing, just focusing on my part, so I'm really looking forward to hearing how everything goes together and then what the final picture is going to look like. What did we do to deserve J Music Ensemble? I ask myself that every day, every time they upload something amazing. Honestly, I'm so happy to be friends with these guys. They do amazing work. They're passionate about what they do. Everyone did such an amazing job. I want you all to just like bless your ears with this album. There's all sorts of projects you do to pay the bills, but this is the kind of one that you know, reminds you why you got into it in the first place.
things. The arrangements are fantastic, like the musicianship's fantastic, the production I think overall, like you know, Soup to Nuts is a, a major step up from the original one as well, like the tracking was great, the mixing was great, it's a fantastic sounding record in every regard, I'm super stoked for it to get out there. It's going to catch some people by surprise. Our goal for this album is to combine the Persona 5 and Jazz worlds and to share our work with the people that gave us the push to make it all happen. However, bringing an album like this to fruition requires memento-sized ambition. We can't tackle this alone. Alongside the costs for making the album, like tracking, mixing, and mastering, there are other fees like song licensing, artwork commissions, and digital distribution that we must consider as well. And while the steps behind any album release sound like a difficult obstacle course in the best of times, there is something else hanging over not just ours, but everyone's heads. NYC is one of America's cultural centers and one of the most important entertainment hubs in the world. Sustaining a living in the city comes with steep expenses. Expenses which have become even steeper thanks to the COVID-19 pandemic. As a result of COVID-19, everyone in the band has been unemployed. Every hill we have to climb over, inside and outside J Music, gets that much higher. We also want to make a variety of merch for y'all like CDs, vinyls, shirts, and more. By helping us out here, you can get these perks, even sign copies. Everything from arranging the album to hearing the final product has been a journey longer than my Persona 5 save file. We know y'all have been waiting for the beat to come back around, so we sincerely hope you'll enjoy Persona 5 Metagroove. Well everybody, that's really all we have to say for now. Thank y'all so very much for taking the time to watch this video to the end, and for checking out our Indiegogo campaign. We really do believe this album has the potential to be one of the greatest video game albums of all time. We don't want to stop there. With your help, not only will this album finally get to be released into the world, but it'll also be the springboard for our future projects as well. And if there's one thing that I learned from playing jazz and Persona 5, there's nothing more powerful than a community united. When we all get together, there's nothing we can't do. And as always, if you want to keep up with us in real time, you can follow us on social media on all major platforms. And you can hop on Discord to join the conversation. All those links are down below this video. Take care, everybody, and we'll see you in the metaverse. Oh,